Sponsored by Winwing Technologies. You'll feel the flight regime. Guns, gear, high alpha, and others. Hello, valued viewers. I hope you're all doing very well. It's time for our fifth game of Wolfpack. Things we've learned from last time. Every time we do this, it gets a bit more complex. We get a little bit better, and we learn from our mistakes. Things we're really learning this time. Pack organization. We're at a difficulty level now where we've set, where we get spawned sort of all over the place. Some guys on the left, some right, some behind, some in front, and so on. So organizing the wolf pack and then coordinate and then coordinating the wolf pack is essential, guys. Um, so that's going to be something we focus on today, okay? Not all of you. Something I'll focus on, Aggie will focus on, and the communicators will focus on. Stealth. I think two subs got picked up last time, so let's try and do our absolute best today um, not to get picked up, and I'm aware that obviously plays into pack organisation and putting people in the right place at the right time. So we'll work on that. We've just been told that we can have magnetic torpedo fusing. Sub one, Cap is peacetime captain. Cortana is wartime captain plus TDC operator plus uh, dive officer plus whatever else she has to do. Grump, helmsman and communications. Uh, navigator is Aggie. Uh, sonar damp hasn't turned up today because damp sub two rhino is the captain tdc phil helmsman guns sub three strider captain bean tdc uh rear get robert helms and rob is going on the sonar slash whatever oh i should say sub one is hms bellend hms bellend sub two hms spanky sub three uss brace for impact stand by for battle Okay, Grump, get the diesels on, but do not move forward. Are you in, Grump? If I'm in, so confirm you want diesels and I'll stop. Yeah, please. Right, I'm gonna go... I'll stop, diesels on, eh? Get on the periscopes, you lot. Uh, I'll jump on TDC. Uh, someone else jump on observation and someone get on the deck. Already on it. Uh, eyes on something? Uh, relative bearing of 265, convoy in sight. Your eyes, Cortana, how did you spot that? Right, uh, get calculating, please. Uh, looks like they are headed more or less straight towards us. Ah, wow. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, no, based on, based on the sunlight and everything, we've got a, uh, a layer of fog slash mist, and they are, I don't we're probably within 25 degrees angle on bow at the moment. Amazing work. Right. Um, I'm right, going to try to um, I'm, I'm going to try to identify the uh, the middle guy in the convoy here and uh, figure this out. Roger, Aggie, bearing yes. zero, bearing zero six one point six. Jesus, I need um, I need Cortana for ranging. I'm not good enough. Uh, uh, well, I'll have to identify it first. I'm uh, looking at the one behind mass, the destroyer. Mass, yeah, mass, mass, funnel, mass. I'm going to go ahead and guess heavy freighter type 20. Thank you, Cortana. Uh, funnel is 21 meters off the water. Thank you. Just doing... Uh, call it roughly... I've got 10 meter radiance. At least 8,400 meters. Roger. I'm just going to confirm that real quick. I've got a 9 kilometers somewhere there. Uh, sorry, Aggie. Uh, bearing is 0, 060.8. 0. Uh, make it just under 9 kilometers, please. Okay, Grump, um, what information do we have about where subs 2 and 3 are, please? Okay, Cap, I have them on the uh, charts. We have boat 2 that's uh, behind us, and boat 3 is out way in front of us. So, with that, uh, boat 3 is directly due southeast by... Uh, actually, I have no idea how long these grid squares are, but by, uh, by grid square and a half. Yeah, uh, half a grid square actually. Yeah. And behind us, uh, immediately north, boat two. Boat two has confirmed, uh, spotted it. They assess that the convoy course is approximately two zero. Can you order them to get obviously to flank the convoy and um, go full speed to get ahead of the convoy? Keep keep about nine kilometers distance. Okay. And where are we in relation to the convoy? You said we're in front of them and they're head <clears throat> heading towards us. Essentially, we are on the. Uh, convoys forward port forward port so we're ahead of them um, so it's we've got no problems it's just getting two and three in action now give me an angle on the bow Cortana uh, or... I, ru I I ran the calculator but I'm uh, I'm not very confident in this it's uh, it's given me 70 degrees angle on bow but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, 
let me like estimate that. Uh, but I've got a speed of 4.1 knots, which could be okay. So what you're looking at, I call a port 60. Passed on from boat three, and they do not have sight of the convoy yet. Okay, their first objective. I'm thinking more of a port 45 from how I'm seeing. Their first uh, what's What's our heading? Grump. Right now we're looking uh, 61 degrees. Yep, and boat three is at Alpha November 4951 keypad five. So they're just to the southeast of us. So boat, it's critical we get boat three to see the convoy. That's boat three's job at the moment. Quest bearing in range, the convoy. Stand by. New bearing of 058.9. Stand by for range. I make it 8.5 kilometers. I'm ranging slightly longer than the Cortana, it's probably just a perfect personal preference. Cap, do you want both three to move over to us? Yes, if it helps them identify the convoy, that's fine. Yeah, and then they can just stay in formation with us. Um, does anyone know about this destroyer, guys? I'd love to range this destroyer for danger detail. Sure, I'll, uh, tribal destroyer. Uh, mass height is 32 meters. Um... So we're not in danger yet. We're right on the edge of danger of being seen. Um, how much yeah, more... Yeah, we about 7.6. Yeah, agreed. How much more have you got to do before we can start moving, Cortana? Uh, we can go ahead and start moving. Um, the Part of the problem is that the best ship that I can take range off of at the moment is uh, intermittently being blocked by the destroyer. So roger, roger. Uh, Grump, message to boats two and three. Convoy is getting danger close to, to lead boat now. So what we're going to do is we're gonna start moving and we're gonna get in step on the convoy's port side. Please pass that on and then I'll issue orders to move. Captain, do you have a, uh, a speed and direction that you want us to go so I can have them moving roughly to the same location? Have you got ag anything, Aggie, about where I should, what vector I should be going on, bearing I should be going on to set, get in tow with the uh, fleet convoy? Yep, right, right in reverse course, so 180 from where we're at. If you go left, you'll close distance. If you go right, you'll open as you turn. And we're pretty close already, so I'd go away. Right two five, right two five zero looks great. Two five zero, full ahead, please, Grump. Let's get away from right these guys. Right two five zero, full ahead, Helms I. Um, note that change, uh, obviously, Aggie, which I'm sure you have, and let them know when you can, please, Grump. Yeah, I. Right, we're Oscar Mike boys. So boat three's orders are to try and find us priority, or try and find any boats as a secondary. You know what, we need to get on our new heading and then we'll start taking some more readings and we can start plotting their position. What have we got on the map so far, Aggie? So right now on the map, I've got an approximate course based off the last two bearings. Mm -hmm. uh, minimum minimum distance is where those lines cross. Mm -hmm. uh, when we, if we're faster than them, when we turn around, we'll be able to get maximum distance and get bracketed in. Yeah. And then we can set up ahead Roger. To take him out. Are we heading to 250, uh, Grump? Yeah, for, I'm about to stabilize. Standing by for bearing and range. Alright, steady on uh, 250. Right, coming up, Aggie. Right. Uh, I've got 6.4 kilometers on the, uh, the tribal. Yeah, uh, let me check the other one. Uh, 056.7 bearing. With a range just under eight kilometers, and that is to uh, um, the merchant. Great. It's supposed to be a green circle, time hack on it, and it got has him. the label of the boat. I got him, right. Yep. Oh, you see them, okay. Yep, I see them. Okay, okay. which one is yep, which? I see it. Uh, you're gonna have to zoom in, you'll see the boat. Boat one is uh, north, or boat two rather, is uh, north of us, and boat three is to the southeast. Right, if, okay, I'm starting to understand now. If boat three heads due west, they should run into us. Boat three heads due west, they should run into us. Can you pass that along, please? Boat three says they're currently full ahead at 225. Roger, have they seen anything? If not, make it 270. Copy, standby. They said the last update, I'm gonna update it here. 4951, keypad three, pushing into keypad two. Okay, I actually have eyes on one of our boats. Right. Let's prioritize that. Can you tell me where it is relative? 
Uh, relative is, call it 77 degrees. Stand by. I'll come back to that, Aggie. Just let me get this boat. Yes, got it. Right. Zero, seven, seven, relative. So that is A. Okay, we've got a friendly boat. Just someone just write this down real quick, anywhere. A friendly boat at three, two, nine for it's a few kilometers. Three, two, nine. Let me just plot that. Three, two, nine is up there. Okay, that's boat two. We've just located sub two. They are three, two, nine and uh, from us, and they're obviously on the reciprocal. Uh, can they can they check if they can see us on the reciprocal of 329, please? That's boat two. Okay, boat three is at 4954, four, keypad eight, heading two. Uh, Crump, uh, knock on half speed, please. Uh, we're getting ahead now, which is fine, but uh, it's fine. Uh, right. Half speed, helm side. No eyes on boat three. Give me, give me bearing first, cab. Roger. Bearing first. Bearing zero, six, zero. Range, 9.5 kilometers. We've got out ahead of them a bit. What are you up to, Cortana? Uh, still just doing uh, circular sweeps at the moment. Fuck, you fuck kidding me. Yeah. Well, this is not going to be a rush one. We're well ahead of them, guys. It's just trying to get our guys into position. So all is well. Yeah, I think we are diverging the diverging from them somewhat, guys. But as long as I keep them in tally, I'm not too bothered from that for now. All right, ready for next position when you are. Roger. That guy is now on a bearing of 061. Also, as the stream has pointed out, we are significantly diverging now, uh, Cortana. Have you made that observation? Uh, yes. So I think uh, we need to make a it correction. It doesn't appear that we are. Um, Aggie, any problems with a right relative pull of 30 degrees? I would prefer that. I would prefer more than that. Yeah, absolutely. 45, say? Yeah. Grum, can we please make a relative right pull to, uh, of 45 degrees? We're diverging significantly. Right, 45 degrees, helm's eye. Watch out. Right, let's see where our other sub is. Tally our other sub. Check my map, that's going to be 295. Watch out, Aggie. Okay. I still cannot find sub three, by the way. All right, it's annoying, I know, but I wouldn't be surprised if they've just charged off knowing them. We have merged with sub two now, which is great. So sub two's in tow, we don't have to worry about them. Uh, Cap, what relative bearing are you seeing them at? The baddies, or? No, the, uh, the friendly boat. Stand by. Um, we're very far out ahead. 337, bearing 337. Thank you. Yeah, well done. Uh, what's the uh, that is a relative four zero four two zero four two. Cortana, assuming okay. we're not turning. Right. Are we turning, Grub, or are we static? Uh, negative. We're uh, we're steady at two hundred five. It's got Thank a lot you. of heavy uh, ocean right now. Roger. Confirm with half speed. Yeah, for a second I thought that might have been the third boat, but. Uh... Roger. Um, did boat two confirm whether they've seen us, Grub? Um, right, Motu sees us, they're, they're north of us and they have visual on us. I'm, think, I'm thinking based on how fast we're getting away from them, my 4.1 knots might not be far off. That's, so the problem is they're just so slow, right? So whatever we do, we're getting away from right. them, right? Right, okay. Cortana, cool, I'm thinking we should let them catch up a bit. I'm just thinking we'll stop and let them catch up a bit. How do you feel about that? I feel pretty good about that. Uh, maybe even turn in a little bit more aggressively on them. Are you happy or, with that, Aggie? Or just... Or just zigzag in front of them. It's just so risky with our okay. skill level that I don't screw it up completely is my thing I'm worried about, yeah. I kind of, I quite like to stay on their port side, guys. I know what you're saying. I quite like to stay yeah. on their port side because I'm going to get all boats on the port side. Yeah, well, two and three positions updated on the map. Well done, Grub. That's excellent should work. Be green, yep. Should be green circles with boat. Now right, so them. we just need to get, we need to get boat three. We're in formation with boat two. We just need to get boat three north, uh, west, northwest. And they'll come and get. They'll, they'll, they'll get. All right, guys. Um, let's make a. Um, I mean, we can almost spring the trap pretty much. I wanted boat three up here, really, but we can spring the trap with with just boat two, can't we, guys? Boat one and two. We're in formation now. Right. I'm going to try and make a decision here, then, guys, because we're just getting out of sight now. So, can we turn, guys? Relative right, 25 degrees, please. Stay on half speed. That was going to take us a bit more towards boat two. Uh, Aggie, update charts, please. Right relative pull, 25 degrees. Right relative, 25 degrees, helps, eh? I'm going to take them a little bit closer to the, what I think is the path of the, the, the hostiles. And then um, I'm going to sit and wait and just let them catch up a bit. Because 
It's making sense now that Cortana said they are moving too slow. Yeah, and I'm still seeing, um, let's see, so I'm still seeing us on the port bow of the central parts of the convoy, but uh, there are some elements um, that we are inside of. Uh, there looks to be a second escort. Uh, I've got them at a relative bearing of 107. Tally. Or wait, sorry. No, 117. That's, one. that's the that's the original one. Maggie, can you uh, can you can you give me a bearing for both three to come to join us? I they're not heading the right direction. Uh, bearing three, yeah, three three zero works. Three three zero works. Yep. Three two zero. Yeah. Three three zero. zero. Yep. They need to go northwest. Cap minimum range to convoy right now. I'm it's gonna about ten thousand yards minimum. Roger, Roger. Uh, I'd agree with that. Yep, yeah, I'd say the actual is probably more around 12-ish. So the angle on bow appears to be decreasing, guys. Decreasing as we move into their path. Do you agree with that, Cortana? That's what I'm seeing. I know uh, they're miles away. Affirmative, yeah. I've, I've got a... I don't, like, just trying to guess. Um, maybe 15 degrees off their port bow. Right, great. I'm thinking... For the I'm, central ship. I'm thinking this is a great place to stop and submerge and wait for them with boat two. How do you feel about that? Uh, that feels about right to me. Yeah, because if we go ahead and go down to uh, the periscope depth, we can wait and we can honestly just wait a couple minutes and then figure out when to start moving to find yeah. two things after that. Great, great. Okay, Grum, can we have diesels off, electrics on? As Cortana, can you get us down to 11.5 meters and hold, please? Then I'm, gonna, then, then I'm going to issue orders to boat two in a second. Over to Electric Sounds Eye. Uh, do we have a final course that we want to sit at? Uh, what is 320 at the moment? Let me just double check that. It's actually, to be honest, a 320, 325, whatever on at the moment. It's, it feels about right, Grump. Copy that. Wind? And uh, confirm speed that you want us. Uh, we're going to be uh, all stop. When you've uh, done all that, stop, when you've done that, can you please confirm to boat two if they will follow, uh, if they'll do the same? Get on heading of 320, all stop, submerge. And we're going to sit and wait for more uh, information. Unfortunately, boat two are no longer be able to, boat three are no longer be able to see us, but so be it. So what I'm hoping for is the super slow convoy, guys, is now going to fall into our little uh, our little trap. And we'll, uh, like Cortana says, we can make longitudinal adjustments for the attack as required. If we are going to fire from roughly this position, we will need to, need to probably need to make a right turn a bit before we uh, start losing torpedoes because we're kind of at a funny angle to them at the moment we can sort that. Yep, that's why I was asking if you wanted a final course. Yeah, I just don't know what it is yet, it's the problem. Until we get a bit closer and get a better look at the angle on bow because I don't quite see what it is at the moment. Cortana, do you need TDC scope for anything at the moment? Um, no, not presently. Roger, not so you're once, just... Once they get closer we can... Yeah, until they get within like 8,000 yeah, right. meters there's not right. really a whole lot I can do. A uh, steady at depth of uh, 11.5 meters. Okay, well, lovely. Right. Um, at ease, guys, then. Uh, listen for transmissions for boat two and boat three. I think boat two are doing the same thing as us. Uh, we're waiting for the convoy to catch up. It was a bit of an error on me to go full ahead at 19 knots. We've basically just outrun them, so that was my bad, guys. But we've got plenty of time, and to be honest, we want to attack when it's getting dark anyway. Uh, so at ease, I'm going to go for a wee. Boat two acknowledges... Uh... I've got active sonar between 060 and 070. Does that correlate with the... Yes, baddies. Got yep, it. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, that's the destroyer out the front. What class is it, Cortana? Oh, that's a tribal. Tribal class destroyer is at that bearing uh, uh, Aggie. Um, I'm not worrying about keeping my scope up at the moment because we're so far away that they've got zero chance of spotting us. Slow ass And the observation scope is down at the moment, by the way. Roger. Um, you're welcome to the observation scope at any time, Aggie. Roger. Slow ass convoy. Never known a convoy to go so slow. Uh, this will be the slowest one that we've had to deal with so far. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, Cap. The passed from boat two. They uh, are getting a convoy speed of 2.3 knots. So that is what? low. Right, so it's right. They're just not moving. Dang it. Guys, the reason this is so hard is that the convoy is not moving. We've been thrashing around doing our stuff, but the convoy is not actually moving. Um, so we're in this weird position where the convoy is more or less a static object. And that's why this has been so hard. It's been opposite to everything we've done so far. 
It's almost like we have got to be the aggressor and go to the convoy rather than laying the trap. Does that kind of make sense? Yep. We haven't. We've well, never. Like, we've yeah. never done one like this before. It's weird, and in a way, it's a lot easier. But it's just because we've never seen it. So, so they're they they are behind us right now. They're yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Best fit line being posted now. Yeah. Red lines are me, by the way. Okay. Anyone else can post those lines. Like, Cap, you can do it. Yeah. Cortana, I, you can do it. I don't want to touch. Just post it. them if you got them. All right. So almost what we want to do is turn around to the right, turn around again at them, and sort of attack them. I'm just a bit worried about that attacking them with that destroyer that's in between us and them at the moment. If unless if we destroy, we unless we destroy the, the destroyer. If we take out the destroyer and send the other two ships after the merchants. How interesting. Why don't we creep towards this tunnel like this? Why don't we creep towards that destroyer? Creep, 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 nice and slow and quiet. Take that destroyer out. We'll get a lovely clean shot because he's zigzagging left and right. Uh, he's going to give you lovely readings. We'll just... The convoy's moving so slow, there's no pressure. They are coming towards us now. They're coming back into visual now. They're just going, like the boys said, the two to four knots. Take out that destroyer and then just start smashing the rest of the convoy. Um, I, we, we don't... bothering with the, com with, the, uh, with the escort? We're in a rare position where we may have to, Grump. Um, they, the convoy is pretty much still. And between us and the convoy is a destroyer. Uh, unless we want to circle all the way back round the other side of the convoy, which we could do. We've got this destroyer between us at the moment. So there's two options. One, we go for that destroyer and sink it. Or two, we kind of kind of backtrack on ourselves all the way back round and attack the convoy from an area that's not defended. So we've got to make that decision, and I'm open to all whatever you think, guys. We've got plenty of time, we've got plenty of light, so we can do uh, either is fine. Update from boat three, they are now, uh, positions updated on the map. Is it the one that's just southeast of us? Um, Avram. Is there yep. a distance? Can someone give me a rough distance? About 10 kilometers south. They were, they were, unfortunately, they started way out of range. And, yeah. As long as they keep moving north, uh, west, northwest, they'll bump into us. Can you give me a vector cap? Because they say they're going 350 full ahead. That's perfect. They keep doing that, they'll get to us. As long as your mark's right, right. which I'm sure it is, they'll get to us. Remember, we're submerged, so just you know, keep your eye out. Um, Cortana, would, do you want to go directly to the convoy as we are from our position and sink that destroyer, or do you want to backtrack, go where we came from, and attack from a side that is not defended? I'm trying to get a feeling for what's the most sensible thing to do here. The most sensible thing to do historically would, would be the second option. Okay, I really need open comms to boat two. Is there any way of arranging that? There isn't, isn't there? Unfortunately. Right, uh, Grump, take note. The convoy going says slow has thrown us. We're going to surface, we're going to backtrack and attack the convoy from a different angle. We want boat two to follow us VFR. No bearings, nothing, they'll follow us VFR. That's a sink, Cap. Thank you. Surface, guys. We understand what's going on now, we understand the problems in play. Let's get it done. On the surface, and then I would like full reversal. So 180 degree to relative, relative left pull. Cap, instead of three joining us, maybe we let them stay on the port side of the convoy. Yeah. So distraction happens and they can get big hits. But if they stay on 330, they'll run straight into the convoy. So that's fine. Exactly. But if they go, if they go like 010, zero, zero, right? On surface. Gotcha, gotcha. Then, yeah, that's fine. Uh, let us just get moving and then we'll we'll issue that order. Understand. Cap confirm uh, diesel's on. Diesel's on. Full ahead, left pull to a relative, you know, U-turn, left 180 degree. I'm guessing that boat two is going to surface and understand the command. I hope they will. I'm going to trust that they will, basically. Getting Ready? left turn to 140, I'm going to close to attack visibility. When your hands free, a new order for boat three. A change of heading to zero, one, zero, because that will um, put them more to where we're going to be operating, rather than them just running straight into the convoy. Essentially, Cap, let's let them ha uh, attack the rear of the convoy, right? Yeah, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, I mean, the front is defended by this destroyer, so we're going to be picking mid to rear anyway, I think, guys. Okay, boat two also has visual on us. Great. Follow us, yeah, follow us visual. Um, what's the aimed um, heading grump? Uh, we're heading. turning left to 140 final heading. Roger, roger. Yep, that feels about right, grump. Uh, can you update your charts? We will be on 140, Aggie, once we've completed the turn. Will do. 
Okay, they're all back in good visibility. Right, guys, update for the Valley viewers. I know that's been chaotic and weird, and we're, we're disagreeing, but the problem was we've never faced this weird scenario where the, the hostiles just aren't really moving. They're going somewhere between two and four knots, depending on readings. And so we're charging around 18 knots, and things, you know, when you don't have a point of reference, it's actually quite confusing to your brain. We've got an idea of what's going on, though, now, and we're heading back. We're going to turn go past the convoy a bit, turn back in and attack it from where this destroyer is not. That makes sense. We don't want to tangle with the destroyer if we don't have to. Helm hold and steady, 140. Thank you. I'm just going to be making the assumption that Boat 2 is foreshadowing us from now on. I'm going to make it their um, objective. Uh, Cortana, now that we're surfaced and you can be on the OBS, um, I know it's a bit early, but when I want to start thinking about a target that we want to attack. I'm kind of thinking the boats that are over at relative 295 kind of off to off to their out and away from any um, escorts. Uh, let me have a look. They're, uh, quite, they're like. Was the relative bearing? So go relative 295. You'll see a bunch out there, way down the pack. They don't seem to have an escort around them. But it will be a lovely thing for us to attack, especially as it gets dark, way away from that destroyer. They're not as juicy as the ones near the front, but that's the so idea. If you look, if you look at, call it about 303. Uh, you'll see that second wow. escort that I saw. Oh, for fuck's sake, another destroyer. God damn it! I can't tell if that's a destroyer or a flower escort from here. Roger, roger. Um, All oh. heard. Okay, scratch that. How about a new target then of 290 relative? It's between the escorts. Yeah, I think if we can sort of sneak in between the escorts, especially as night okay. is falling here, yeah. there's enough mist and stuff. So um, once we get within about six kilometers of the, uh, the tribal, we can... We can submerge and just sort of continue it like half towards the convoy. Okay, can you please work on um, finding out which is that closest target at 290 relative, what it is, uh, so we can start to get some ranging details. Okay, Sub 2 is doing well and they're uh, mimicking us, which is great. Attack uh, lighting is looking good. Kind of, we have aimed to be torpedoes out in about 15 minutes. So, what I'm planning to do, Cortana, is get an angle on bow about 70 degrees so we've got 20 degrees to play with then turn in and do the attack run we're currently about Which i think we're we're up almost there yeah we're, we are almost there right um we're gonna make a vfr turn grump left to heading off i'm gonna give him some lead zero six five grump left we, zero six five helms eye we need to do some ranging cordana to find out um uh to start making some yeah, tactical decisions now. roger either funnel or mast uh, Now the oscilloscope is running away. Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm steady at zero six five. Thank you, Guru. Um, can you give me the relative heading to the one we've been looking at? I've just lost visual for weird reasons. I just need to get my essay um, back. I think the one you had pointed out is essentially at zero degrees. Yeah. That's okay. Um, that's right behind the oscilloscope. Uh, Grump, can you do me a favour and just left two degrees relative, please? Left two degrees relative, Helms. I just got the oscilloscope in the way. I just need to get a. Uh, there he is. Right. How are you working on identification, Cortana? Steady on two zero six three. Well, the problem is he's overlapped with the yeah, ship right. behind him, and so it's making it with the mist. It's almost impossible to tell which features are on which ship. All right. Well, we, we, uh, we Aggie, you're you're port four five right now, at about on the the contact you're looking at right now, Cap. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Give me a range because we're. Okay, really I'm gonna, close. I'm going to make an assumption of a 21 meter, uh, a 21 meter, uh, just to get us submerge, going. Submerge, 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 flowers. Uh, diesel's off. Diesel's off. Diesel's off. 11.5. Cortana, five, optical please. scope. Observation scope's going down. Cortana, take the TC jump. scope. I'm off the TDC. One moment. Have to uh, get the boat down. Fucking hell, today's not going well. Uh, Grump, uh, boat to dive. Boat to dive. Being intercepted. Aggie, what do you want to make our speed? Or do you want to leave it to we're Cortana? Good word. Okay. Uh, leave it to Cortana. Probably slow. Cortana, can you get screen capture on? And when you're ready, take the TDC. Uh, I'll have to sort out screen capture after I've uh, sorted out our deck. Roger. Oh, break, break, break. He's lost us, he's lost us, he's lost us. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, just to slow ahead, please. Pass it on to um, boat two. Sub submerge, slow ahead. Submerge two, slow ahead. Just until we decide what this destroyer is doing, please. The destroyer reverse course yep. is turning now towards us. Roger, let's just be patient and see what happens, guys. Cortana, when you're ready, I'll I'll get off the scope. Yep. I'm on, I'm ready. All right. Okay, Cortana. I've oh got yeah, it. he's just that's just his normal zigzag pattern that he's been doing. Roger, Roger, Roger. I'm not too worried about what he's doing. Right. I think it, let's get a range, Cortana, of the boat we're interested in. We're getting quite close now with the uh, H masts. And um, and then we'll start making some tactical decisions about whether... Uh, I guess we're going to stay submerged, guys. Right, slow ahead, Grump, please. What's our current heading? Um, we're heading 063. We are slow speed on electric. We're going to make... We're going to add... Update. A update from boat three. They are in keypad three of our square now. Great. At zero, heading course 015, half speed. Yep. You just put it down, didn't you? Great. They're with us. They're with us. Priority of them is... Uh, now, find a convoy and don't get spotted. Find a convoy and don't get spotted. That's their objective now. They will find them soon. I okay, uh, Cortana. Are you, have you finished Still working on, on identification. Roger, Roger. No, I, I, I don't have, I don't have a damn thing. Um, Roger, I'm going to start working on it as well then. Okay, I'm going to go mast. I'm looking at the one just on the right of the destroyer. It's quite tasty, Cortana. Mast, it is, post yeah. funnel. Uh, that one will be easier to identify too. Roger, I'm just just, just gonna see what the destroyer's doing. He's, he's poked his nose at us. It's he's still just he's oscillating. Roger, he's fine. He is, yeah, right. So mast, king post, funnel, superstructure, funnel, and a big flat superstructure. Aim for the aim for the one just behind a convoy, uh, just behind the escort. It's a big fatty, plenty of time, all the time in the world. Mast, king post, funnel, king post, wasn't it? Right, it's one of these, and it is. I've got it, Cortana, as a heavy freighter type 8. Heavy freighter type 8 beam mast height is 28 meters, uh, 9,000 tons, and I've got a 20, I've got a 20 to 21 meter funnel. However, I can't do the ranging because of aspect. The one on the right of the escort uh, with a 20 one meter mast. Can you do the ranging on that, please, Cortana? Uh, let's call him six kilometers. Six kilometers. Feels good. Two kilometers and then we're firing, pretty much, guys. Do we have a time to attack and what targets we're attacking? Attack will be... We are attacking... Break. Mast, king, post, funnel, mast. Uh, that is... M... K... F... K. Can you write that down, Grump? Okay, is that one of the list of identified ships? Yes, it's it, it's in the list of identified ships that I yep. that I. Uh, okay, so I see I see two of them. Is it the mm -hmm. Type Twenty or the Type Eight? We want Type Eight. Uh, yeah, if we on that, do we want Boat Two to go for the one on slightly right of that? Uh, yeah, that'll work. Grump, we're taking that Type Eight. We want Boat Two to attack the one on just on the right of it. Confirm. Message passed. Thank you. Boat One is targeting heavy freighter Type Eight. Boat Two target ship to the right. Um, Trump, can I get you to come left to a heading of yeah. zero five four? Yeah. Left to zero five four helms. I read my mind, Cortana. Cortana, are you screen capturing? I just don't want you to forget. Yeah, this usually works. Uh, something is not working with my software today, Cap. All right, just scratch it. Do it. Boat two wants to confirm that they uh, they are targeting a heavy tanker type thirteen. Roger, you know what, that works for us, and it's not even that important exactly which one they're going for, as long as it's not our one. All is well. Pass on that we're going ahead dead, uh, we're going ahead slow, uh, ahead slow, and no firing until we tell them to. Hi. We really need a damp here for TDC as well. Do you want me on the TDC, Range Cortana? Range 5.6, sure. Okay, I'm going to TDC, guys. Captain, I'm on TDC right now. Oh, right. I, I you, have you know what we're doing, yeah? Uh... We'll figure it out. Oh, it's awkward because you turn one knob and it fucks the others up, so just just keep an eye on everything. Yep. Don't forget your torpedo depth, Cortana. Yep, doing some things right now. Yep. Where do you want to torpedo depth? Four, until she says otherwise. Yeah, four, um, do two meters shy of the uh, the draft of this. Draft is seven, so make it five. Make it five, Aggie. Yeah, we have torpedo depth is five. 
Say again. Scrum. Yeah, make it five, Aggie. Uh, we say, have orders for both three. Mm -hmm. Have they found? I need the information. Have they visualised the convoy? They have eyes on the convoy. Brilliant. So creep submerged to four kilometres from the convoy. As soon as our torpedoes hit, they can open fire at will. Angle on the bow. Angle on bow is zero three eight degrees. Go ahead and set that and set it to the uh, up, uh, the uh, attack scope as the reference point. Port or starboard. Port or starboard. Port. Up. So thirty eight degrees off the port bow. And target speed 4.3 knots. Let me know when angle on bow, to, bow is set. Uh, what's the angle on bow saying now? Don't update it, but just making sure that it's changing. Okay, so it Four is zero. Okay. Cool, cool. All right, so that should now be set. Uh, picking ranging again. Um, Range, 50 hectometers. Did um, boat three acknowledge what we said? Yep, they said they're eight kilometers from a target in the middle of the pack. Great. Find the yard set. Speed at three knots. Speed is set. Uh, set speed for four point three knots. Go ahead and um, go ahead and set the uh, the angle tracking to AP. Fire control. Make sure you, go, sure you give us plenty of warning before firing, please. Grump. Yeah, we need to pass on any information yeah. we can to the other subs so that we can do a time on impact. Yeah. Set angle on bow forty two degrees. Make sure that AP is selected. All right, should be set. Whatever the range is to this target right now, um, the angle tracking should be. Uh, God damn it! See. Yeah. Uh, so. Does anybody know how to operate a ladder? And updated speed of five knots. I don't know how to update speed. I'm sorry. I'm... Here, I'll. Uh, I can take care of it. I, I don't need to be looking through the scope at the moment. Tell me what you're doing. Uh, so target speed is uh, in the uh, is right there. So just setting that to five. Uh, that's set to two. So that should all be good. Uh, two one is selected. Time to impact. Oh, that's because it's okay. Sorry, you had it set to uh, to four hundred meters, not forty two hundred. There we go. Three minutes. Okay. Current settings. So I'll I'll just give you the the numbers in uh, in hectometers now for range, and that'll correspond directly to what you see on the scale. So 40 hectometers would be 40 on that scale. Okay. How do I fire? You don't. You don't. I do. All right. Call it range. Call it 39 hectometers. Time to impact. Time to have impact is two minutes. Roger. All right. Update Cortana. Two, two, one. Don't Close. fight, don't fight. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Uh, oh, get on the blower, sorry, quick, run, fire, fire, fire. Yeah, two I'm minutes right. to impact. Uh, set tube two. Sorry, it's an inviting target. Oh, no. Message to sub three, fire at will, but stay submerged as well. Is tube two set? Single yep, shot. it's trying to do it. It's not doing it. Here, I can... No, the... It won't let me do it, so... Alright, great. Tube 2, Los. Los! Want me to hop back on, I'll reload tube here. Uh, you can actually just click on the uh, torpedo status thing. Drag and drop the torpedoes into the... Tube 3 ready, and tube 4 is ready. Uh... Uh, let's see... That <sighs> mast, mast, funnel... Do you send the messages, Grump? Yep, received. Uh, boat three is acknowledged so far. Yeah, boat two is probably busy. Set range to forty-two hectometers, and select tube three. Actually, make it forty-one hectometers. Two is not fired yet. There's still work firing solution. Set. Is that set? Boat three fired. Oh, I heard a boom. That was us. Roll down. All right. Firing tube three. Tube three, Los. Uh, second impact, unsure what that was on. Uh, our first ship still appears to be up. Um, 
gonna rearrange it. Range, 27 hectometers. And set to pour. Oh shit, they're accelerating. Yep, I figured so. Boat 3 has eels in the water. I uh, don't think they're... Range is... Call it... 25 hectometers. Set. Speed, 15.7 knots. Length. It doesn't matter. Uh, is 2 ready? Ready. Uh, I'm getting nothing. Weird. Uh, two force not selected. Was. Oh shit. Select two four as quickly as you can. Select tube five. My shit just froze, so. Shit, shit. All right, back away, back away. I've got to take take it over. We're we're literally being overrun. Oh crap. Oh, this is not good. All right, we need to dive. Up oh, there he is. Go, go. Crash dive us. You, it's you too late. It. Are you open? sounds what is that blowing up uh, that could have been uh, could have been our third torpedo I'm not sure I don't know if these uh, magnetic torpedoes are working I mean we have three hits yeah but the you notice how we don't have any kills yeah I noticed that that's weird I don't know we set them to magnetic last time Oh, did we? That's so much for the easy uh, convoy, huh? Uh, come right to a course of zero nine zero. Right to zero nine zero, Helms Eye. Is anyone on sonar? And the rave men, boat two, are firing. Steady at zero nine zero. I just very. Gear one zero. Both three reports that they're engaging the destroyer. Okay. Boat who? Boat three is engaging the de the destroyer. Good on him. One two zero true. Boat three also reports a hit. What's a no hit coming on? What's coming on, guys? I guess this convoy is just made now. out of titanium. Yeah. Another oh, hit. That's a hit. Fifth hit. Still not a kill. Oh, that's a kill. Okay. Finally, finally. Right. Five hits and one kill, that's... I'm gonna see who's... Just checking torpedo uh, down, that's all fine. Boat 3 says that they've got two fish out on the destroyer, and... Nice. Sure. I think they said they scored a hit on it. Nice. Uh, one torpedo would neutralize a destroyer. Yeah, how to do. Loading. Hit. Another hit. Man, stuff's going on. We're we're sinking things. This it's coming along so, now, so to speak. We got Aggie. Another hit. Yeah, I'm good. Four hits. Okay, both three is reporting destroyer sunk. Destroy has sunk. Operate with impunity. Roger. So Go surface. Ahead, uh, no. There's the flowers. Folks, flowers. Periscope depth, question mark. Affirmative, yes. Periscope depth. Roger, roger. Alright, we're coming up. Can we have health checks from sub 2 and 3, please? Uh, from... uh, neither of them have reported being hit, so... Sounds mm -hmm. like they are still aggressive. Good, good, good. I don't know why our shipping tonnage is so low, but... Got two torpedoes, we'll keep fighting. 40 meters. That's true. I think it's because we uh, switched our firing to the escort ship. To, uh, go back to focusing. Alright, uh, let's go Let's go ahead and come left to 
340. Left to 340, Helm's Eye. Full rise on the planes here. Right, so the uh, the left one adds water, and so okay. you can see that yeah. um, is adding water to the trim, trim, trim tank. And the right one actually pumps water out of the trim, uh, the, the trim tank. So how do I drive? So what does that and mean? So, it's, so uh, essentially what that means is you are making minute changes to the, the ballast to try to get us to be neutrally buoyant. Uh -huh. And it's just going to take some fiddling is right. pretty much how it's going to work. Um, so you can see I've got the most precise um, depth gauge on the boat here. So we're, we just passed through 30 meters. We're coming up on 28 oh, now, 28 that's there. That's right. Yep. So, um, so I can use that to gauge minor fluctuations in depth and use that to better set the, uh, the trim. Oh, watch out, watch out. Second ship sunk. Hold on. I didn't hear an explosion associated no, with that No, he just took a while so to go down. I think it was a slow kill. He was taking a walk. Yeah, I think that might have been one of ours. We hit one of them twice. Alright, so now I'm going to neutralize the planes. We'll okay, the both three the reports. The uh, two two flowers are going after them. They are diving and turning away. Great. Just just keep the flowers busy. We'll sink one more big ship and we're done. Both three is firing on the second destroyer and then they're going to dip out. Both three is a fucking maniac today. He's killing everything. Hitting. Jesus Christ. It's absolutely what we need right now, though. Do you want to try to arrest the ascent? I am rising. going to arrest the ascent. So more. So does more water uh, will, rel, will will arrest the ascent, won't it? No. Well, actually, yes. In this case, yes. More water is uh, arrest the ascent. Sorry. Um, so you'll probably be taking it up to about uh, eight cubic meters or so. Maybe more like seven and a half cubic meters it should get us to where we need to be. But go ahead and put it there. Stop it. Because um, we want it to come up just a little bit more. Yeah, 16 meters. Sixteen and a half. Fifteen meters. Roger, you can the plane. Right, I'm going to take us, uh, I'm going to trim it up, trim a bit. Yep. Aggie, are you able to see anything through the scope yet, or? Yeah, I got stars. That's about it. Give me a bearing. Okay. Should be, call it... Check. Five. Got him. Um. Oh, yeah. Sure enough. Okay. Alright, so... Looks like we're a little bit behind him now. But, um... Let's see, what are you? You are not what I was looking at before. Mass, mass, funnel, mass. My scope. Let me take it. Boat three, they are still alive and coming back to periscope depth. Thank you. Alright. Katana. Bearing mark. Uh, I'm not on the scope. I don't care. On your map. Mark. Sorry, what do you need from me? Bearing zero eight zero, mark that bearing. Uh, I actually don't use the map, so I. Uh... <laughs> no, it's all VFR now, guys. All right. Um... <laughs> bearing zero five eight, large tanker. Unknown classification. That's our target. Can't see the middle radians. Someone, someone, give me a bearing. Uh, bearing zero five eight on the map. Head it. What well, relative bearing you looking, Aggie? Top along the top of the scope. Zero eight zero. Fucking hell, that's beautiful. Notes the destroy at one two zero. Okay, um, there's the convoy. We're sitting there, broadside, ready to take down. Uh, what are you up to, Cortana? Now we're back in business. Uh, nothing. 
Right, um, Grumptastic. What are you up to, Grump? Standing by waiting for orders. Well, I've got a whole lovely bunch of boats to take down, guys. And we have uh, Cortana, TDC, uh, Scope, Aggie, TDC board, please. Can we have Grump at Helms? Grump, can you please take us to a heading of relative left? Uh, God, relative. I've got to figure this out. Relative right pool, 090. Relative right pool, 090. State right to 070, Helms I. Cortana, I'm going to put a whole convoy of very close boats on your nose. They're a broadside and ready for attacking. Uh, yep, I I see a, see a juicy target here. Let's... Have you got ready to 090, Cortana, as it stands? Uh, I see a really juicy one relative 060. Sure. Yep. Right, that's the bunch. Okay. Right, I'm sending Cor I'm sending Grump that way to attack him. Grump, current speed is... Uh, we're at slow speed, so that's going to be uh, pretty slow. Uh, can you go to uh, half speed, please, until Cortana says otherwise? Otherwise, we're kind of back in business. I'm just going to work on the trims and stuff. Cause... We're on the that. surface right now. Negative. Not... We're on this surface. Uh, I've got it to 12 meters. Can someone... I'm certainly not... Okay, range is 28 hectometers. <laughs> no, wrong way. Barely move it. Yeah, they're basically sitting there waiting to be t taken out. I wonder if one of their one of the ships in the convoy is having any trouble. Maybe. Right, I'm getting the hang of this trim finally, so I can do this myself now. Which is right. Great. Range. Check range. Gonna have to wait a second. Holding steady zero seven zero. Cry set. 3.75. Trimmed at 11 meters. Uh, say again, did you, did you get the angle of valve set? Say again, angle of valve. Zero angle nine zero. Valve. Zero nine zero to port. Zero nine zero set. Okay. Length. Curly set, 10. Not, not needed. Length is Range. Really useful for um, for certain types of ships. Range 4K. Sitting ducks, Cortana. Sitting ducks. Range 27 hectometers. Set. Speed 2.8 knots. I've asked Target both two and three if they're knots. in a firing solution. Anyway. Roger. Ready. So every man for themselves at this point, Grump. Tar target speed of 2.8 knots. Don't know where that's at. Here, I'll go ahead and just take over here for a second. Uh, this ought to be very quick. Okay, two point. Close. Hold on. Close. I should finish uh, it, guys. Here, let me uh, let me back on. Uh. What's up? Selected the wrong one. Tube two, Los. Los! Los. What range are they, Cortana? Out of interest? 2.7. Yeah, 2.8, 2.7 kilometers. remembering to set a stopwatch. 26 seconds. Since the firing? Yep. Okay. Time to impact should be just over two and a half minutes. But that, that could be off because of the method that I'm using. Give or take it's crossed. 20 seconds, 20 to 30. Come on, baby. Oh, oh, as soon as that's a hit. Yep, he's I'm listening. I'm a little bit worried about how far back uh, he hit that guy, though. I'm worried that this warp is just go right behind him. 
Especially with him speeding up. He is speeding up, yeah, and turning left. Miss. Yeah. Lights on. Alright, let's work the problem, guys. Luke 2 has two eels in the water. Roger, roger. So it might Luke become relevant here. is still momentarily. evading, it looks like. Flare in the distance. Yeah. It's nice. Alright, this guy is evading now. Is he listing or turning? Turning. Uh, bit of A, bit of B. Roger. I reckon he's going down Quartan. Range 2.1 hectometers. O2 continuing to fire. Port 90. Quartan, let me give the calls. You do the TDC. Sure. Give me a bearing. Uh, bearing 021. I own the bow 30. Correction 80. Loose. 80 set. Send it. You have to send it. Space bar. Loose. It's nice having the uh, stuff in the conning tower, but it didn't tell you everything. We're at a uh, 4.5, not steady. Are we on the surface or no? I'm just going to turn this into that. They've all kind of moved a bit. I'm just going to turn this into them. Um, I hope this won't mess the course. Check. Guys, up too Check. much. Uh, can we go in left, uh, relative left 30 degree pull, please, uh, Grump? Just going to pull us into the groove a bit better. Left relative 30 degrees to 040, zero, zero, Helm's Eye. There's plenty of big ships and they're all sitting there, guys. Making boom boom. Katana, did we miss on the heavy? Uh, I'm not sure. I wasn't given a range or anything like that, so I, I genuinely don't know what the time to impact would have been. Alright. Good hit, good hit. There he is. Good yeah. hit. Hit. Now the question is, was that us or Boat 2? God knows. It's a hit, though. Boat 2's claiming a hit. There's so many ships out there. We just send eels out. Something's gonna die. Two ships on fire now. Bearing... Bearing 006. Uh, yes, as the speeder range. Set to same speed as original. Range unknown. It's it's dark out. What was last known range, Cortana? Can you remember? Cortana set two thousand. Set two thousand. Twenty hectometer set. Bearing zero zero seven set. Shooting generator bearing. Uh, that's that's you. You gotta hit space bar to shoot. Yep. Los! Two four selected. Boat two, claim that last hit. Oh. Roger. Uh, sorry. Con congratulations two, to the. Yep. Uh, boat three is looking for the fire so firing solution at this time. We have two tubes loaded. One of them is the rear tube. Ground battery. Uh, still have a little over six kiloamp hours remaining. R roughly, is that a rough percentage? Just to my little brain. Uh, we have about 45 minutes left of battery. Watch out. Oh, it's super slow. Uh, Helm. Do you have an actual speed for that? Slow. Okay. Hit, hit, hit. Speed. Boat 2. Right, right to 107. We're going after the destroyer. Right to 107, Helm's eye and slow speed ahead. Congratulations to Boat 2. How do I lower the scope? Fuck. W uh, say again, final core setting. Bearing one zero one one zero. One one down zero throw helm's eye. Down throw shot for a destroyer. Boat two has more eels in the water. Roger out. Go on, good on him. Uh, do you have the angle on the bow you want me to set for that shot? Thirty. Uh, hey, on... damn's awake. Thirty oh, on port Christ. or thirty on starboard. Two fucking hours late down. Discard. Say it again? Discard. He doesn't know we're here. Okay. Tube 2 loaded. We're scoring a lot of hits, but not a lot of kills. Alright. Slowing. Burying. 102 set. Helm set at 110. Eight on the bow. Port 30. Crushing. Starboard. Maneuvering. 
Starboard 10. Los. Port. 30. Los. Ah. Step. Two, two selected. Los. Los. No tubes are loaded presently. Reload all tubes. Tube three is fifty percent. Or sorry, is um, call it seventy-five percent complete. This guy's burning. I've never seen something burn like it before. It just will not sink. The bloody thing. I heard in the future uh, something like the Moss Club. Or... Hmm. Helm left twenty degrees under city course three four zero. Uh, confirm relative mm, left twenty degrees. Yeah. Negative left true. Three four left, zero. Left true. Okay. Yep. Left two zero four zero. Helm's eye. Two three reloaded. Stand by. Hey. Wow. All of a sudden, there we go. <sighs> Weirdest friggin' mission I've ever done, Something guys. Something burned down. Right. Return yeah. To it must have been that one that Cap was. Yeah. God, that was, that was a weird mission, man. That, that was a weird mission. But I tell you what, I know, by hook or by crook, um, boat one got nine torpedoes off, four hit. That's nearly that's a nearly 50% hit rate, which is bloody amazing. Uh, boat, especially I think those Cortana ones, I think Cortana had 100% uh, hit rate for the first four torpedoes. I know if we didn't sink four, they just didn't sink. Something about those torpedoes that they weren't sinking. We got four hits. Uh, one boat went down. Boat two, amazing work. Followed us perfectly. Did everything we wanted you to do. Uh, apologies, we forgot to tell you when we were torpedoing. We got a bit excited. Um, but, That's um, my bad. Yeah, but you um, hit exactly the same as us. Nine torpedoes, uh, four hits. Uh, you know, you couldn't ask for better than that. Uh, and even boat three, putting it together. Uh, God put you out in the middle of the ocean. You found out your way to us. Um, amazingly. Uh, and with only two guys, I think, in your boat, and um, seven torpedoes out, two hit, which is great news, guys. Um, and we sunk 30,000 tons with no problem at all. None of us got detected. None of us got shot at. Um, everything yeah. was, um, yeah, I mean, certainly wasn't, as you'll see from the video, it certainly wasn't a uh, amazingly well, you know, overall commanded, but it was, um, everyone just did their job pretty well. Um, any comments? Boat three, you got a destroyer. Yeah, wow. so I want to I want to point that one out. They got a destroyer kill. That's hard. They're maneuvering around and wiggling about, and um, and it's not an easy setting anymore. So they're fighting back. And the fact that they didn't get spotted in all of that, that's I'd say that's uh, top combinations right there. Does that move? Does that mean we're moving up to hard mode, guys? Is that where we're at right now? Could be. Mm, yeah. I'm actually amazed we didn't get spotted. The uh, when I was trying to call out to get that that. Um, that fourth torpedo out uh, in rapid succession, that was going to be a shot of the tribal at about 300 meters. Yeah. Um, it pretty much went right over the damn top of us, and it just didn't see us. Amazing. Well done, guys. I know. I, I noticed as well, like, a few torpedoes struck but didn't sink anything, and I'm wondering, like, whether the magnetic fuses meant they were detonating a it's bit It's a problem. Or... It's a problem, guys, because we've hit with... 10 torpedoes a day, 10 torpedoes, and only sunk three boats. That's not right. And these are not battleships, you know. Torpedoes should sink these boats. So there was a problem with the torpedoes we today. Playing? Well, it. I think it, a lot of it does have uh, something to do with... Where we have a lot well, of duds? Uh, no, we, we don't have any duds. I, I, configured. I think if we were setting the torpedoes to hit the side of the vessel, they might be detonating a bit early, maybe. I don't mm. know. Yeah. So, so, it was like so when we were doing direct impact before, then that was for sure a hit, and that was for sure a breach of the hole. So, yeah, that might be a difference. So, so it's a question mark in how the game is modeled, right? It theoretically, the magnetic stuff is what sinks the ship. The contact stuff creates a mission kill, if that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, because the, the, in other games, anyway, my experience has been if you use magnetic, you go, you add an extra half meter or meter onto the depth of the vessel. So yeah. if it says it's got like a five meter draft, you go for six meters. And the idea is, is to create a big air bubble underneath the, the ship so it breaks its own back. Exactly. Yeah, and that's what we weren't doing because we were still 
setting them above the above the depth for the uh, things that might have been detonating too early. So it, beside the uh, targets rather than under it or on it. But I'll, but, te I'll test that but, before next week. Make sure the game actually models it that way. But but if you hit it in the backside, that relative damage is going to be negligible. If that makes sense. Watch you guys. All right, we'll do some messing around. Uh, but you we have a record of our results then. Yeah. Um. Yes, you did. Um. It was. Uh. Just let me think, guys. It was sub one, four torpedoes out, four hits, one sinking, boat two, four tor nine torpedoes out, four hits, two sunk. I think we had two in the water when you ended the mission as well. Roger. Well, okay. Uh. Yeah. Fair enough. Um. So possibly more hits. Uh. Boat three, seven torpedoes out. Two hits, one sunk. Uh, all of those figures I'm happy with, perfectly happy with, to be honest. Cheers, guys. Right, Cheers, guys. Yeah. <laughs>